So how do you how do you think life first began? And have there been any good studies explaining this, or at least putting forward compelling hypotheses? Well, there's compelling hypothesis. I mean, if you want to read, there's a lot of compelling hypotheses. <laughs> this is one question that we don't understand. That doesn't mean that, I mean, there's a lot of science questions we don't understand, like how, or is there more than one universe and stuff? That doesn't mean that the explanation is something supernatural. It just means that we, it's very hard to study the original life because we weren't there when it happened. Plus, the original creatures that evolved were probably proto-molecules like amino acids and or nucleotides, which we now think, and they didn't fossilize. So we weren't there to see it, and we don't have any fossil traces, so how do we figure out how it started? That's hard. There's a book called Genesis, which is just the word Genesis with an asterisk in between each letter, which lays out all the various hypotheses of how life began. Started as depositions of organic matter on clay, um, crystalliza through crystallization, the most prominent going hypothesis now is that life started as sort of an RNA-like molecule. And the reason we think that is because RNA is both something that can replicate, but something that can also have enzymatic activity. And the whole problem of the origin of life is how do we get DNA or a nucleotide thing that is both self-replicating and can produce proteins? When to replicate, you have to have the proteins in the first place. And in order to get the proteins, you have to have the nucleotide sequences. So you have this chicken and egg problem. And that is partially answered by the fact that RNA, unlike DNA, um, can both replicate itself and has some, its own enzymatic properties. And we don't know if that's right or not. Um, and I, I don't know if we'll ever really know how life began. We know it only began once because of certain fundamental similarities in organisms. But um, I think that in the next 50 years we'll be able to replicate the origin of life. Not replicate it, but get the origin of life in the laboratory under proto-life conditions, those that obtained at the beginning of, of um, life about 3.5 billion years ago. And that will answer the question that it couldn't have occurred naturally. That doesn't tell us how it did occur naturally, and that question may forever elude us, but it will at least eliminate the common objection that because life couldn't have originated naturally, um, it must have been done by God or some other supernatural agent. But, you know, I mean, this is early days. This is a hard question. It's only one that's been properly investigated in the last 20 or 30 years. It's going to take a while to get the answer, if ever. So. That makes sense.